Hi everyone. If you look at last four years CAT papers, you will find that races based questions are very often particularly from time to distance area. So in this video, we are going to look at uh, you know, all the concepts of linear races and we are also going to take up some varieties of question. In fact, I have also released one more video on the circular race. So in case if you haven't watched that, please make a point to watch it. So let's begin. Let's quickly understand certain important terminologies. So what is a head start? So in a race of 100 meter, say A starts running from uh, the starting point and if B starts running from a point which is 10 meters ahead and if both of them reaches to the finishing point at the same time then we can say okay, in a race of 100 meter A can give B a head start of 10 meters. In simple words if both of them start running from the starting point or the same point then A will beat B by 10 meters. Similarly this head start can also be in terms of time. So for example if uh, B starts running say 10 seconds earlier than A and both of them reaches to the finishing point at the same time then we can say that uh, you know A can give B a head start of 10 seconds. In this scenario both of them are running uh, for 100 meter distance but B takes 10 seconds more than A. Right. Now let's understand what is the beat distance. So in a race of 100 meter if A beats B by 10 meters then that's called beat distance. Similarly you can also be given beat time so in the same race A beats B by 10 seconds. That means if both of them are running the full length of the race then and B takes 10 seconds more so you can say A has beat B by 10 seconds. So now based on this data you can find out the speed of the loser. For example if A beats B by 10 meter or 10 seconds then we can say speed of B is nothing but 10 meter per second or you can uh, 10 meter by 10 seconds that is 1 meter per second. Okay so this is how we can quickly uh, uh, you know extract the information. Now let's look at few more points. So guys what we discussed earlier was mainly for the two participant race. Of course that concept can also be used for three participant but most of the three participant questions can be solved by concept of ratio. So let's understand how to use that and then of course we'll look at questions. So suppose you are told that in a race of 400 meter A beats B by 40 meter and B beats C by 100 meter. Now the point that you need to understand is winner always runs the full distance. So for example over here I'll write it this way. Okay, when A runs 400 meter A beats B by 40 meter so B must be running only 360 meter. Similarly when B runs 400 meter C must be running 300 meter. Okay, because the winner has to run the full distance. So between B and C, B runs 400 meter and C runs 300 meter because B beats C by 100 meter. So now we'll be asked by how many meter will A beat C in the same race. So it's very easy for you to make out okay, when B runs 400 meter, C runs 300 meter. So how much distance will C run when B runs 360? You can simply say that this value has been reduced by 10%. So just re reduce this value by 10%. So this will come out to be 270. So you can say that when A runs 400 meter, B runs 360 and when B runs 360, C runs only 270. So A will be beating C by 130 meter in the same race. So I really hope you have understood this point. These are the only points that you will require to use to solve this linear race based questions. So now let's look at some really tricky and varieties of question. The first question is straight away from CAT 2020 slot 2 paper. So let's look at this uh, question. In fact, you can quickly go through the data. Yes, so the question says that in a car race, car A beats car B by 45 km, car B beats car C by 50 km and car A beats C by 90 km. The distance over which the race has been conducted. Guys, this is CAT 2020 question, actual question. So I'm sure by now you would have understood that CAT exam is actually not that difficult. It's just that you need to be cautious, you need to understand the concepts thoroughly and you need to be cautious about your calculation. Right, so let's solve this question quickly. It's a very simple question. So A, B, C, uh, we don't know what is the uh, length of the race. So we can assume it, it was of X kilometer. So when car A runs for X kilometer, car B runs 45 less, so X minus 45 kilometer. Similarly, when car <coughs> B runs for X kilometer, car C runs uh, 50 kilometer less, that is, this will be X minus 50 kilometer. And in the same race, car A beats C by 90 km. So when A runs X km, C will be running X minus 90 km. Now what remains constant over here? So can I say ratio of speed of car B and C will remain same? So in first case, the ratio is, we can say it's X minus 45 upon X minus 90. This is the ratio of car B and C speed. Similarly, in the second case, the ratio of speed is X upon X minus 50. 
now should we solve by cross multiplication you can also do it that way because it will not be difficult ultimately x square on both sides will always get cancelled off in such situations however we can also go by answer option and it's very easy to make out that if i take 475 so force if i take x as 475 so 470 minus 45 will be 430 so this numerator will come out to be 430 while 475 minus 90 will be uh, 385 so if you look at this two numbers will not produce any uh, you know desired ratio that will match with the right hand side because on right hand side will keep 475 as it is and this will be 425 so of course this will not gel with each other so you can straight away jump to more convenient option so which option should you pick out of this so 500 looks pretty convenient and 450 looks pretty convenient further if you look at this number 45 it's actually 10 percent or one tenth of uh, 450 90 is one fifth of 450 so it's better to go with this number let's see whether it works or not so if if we take x as 450 so 450 minus 45 will be 405 which is nothing but 45 into 9 similarly 450 minus 90 is 360 so 360 is nothing but 45 into 8 so we got left hand side as 9 by 8 similarly on the right hand side if i put 450 over here and if i uh, take uh, this uh, 450 minus 50 is 400 so can i say once again this is 50 into 9 and this is 15 to 8 so this is how you can quickly verify okay this um, you know this satisfies the given condition so yes answer has to be option b so ideally you can just spend about 15 20 seconds or maybe 25 seconds to do a bit of trial and error and you can quickly get it rather than getting into the solving complicated equation so i really hope all of you have understood this now let's look at one more question again it is of similar variety in a race of three horses the first beat the second by 11 meters and once again we are asked the length of the race course so let's assume the length of the race course once again as x meter the complete data is in meters so first ho horse when the first horse runs x meter the second horse is running 11 meter less so it should be x minus 11 meter and the third by 90 meters so in the same race the first bit third by 90 meters so third must be running x minus 90 meter in the same time okay if the second beat the third by 80 meters so if the second horse runs for x meter the third must be running for x minus 80 meter so what is the length of the racetrack so once again guys ratio of the speeds ratio of speed of second and third horse will remain same so i can simply make this equation let me just write it over here so my equation will be x minus uh, 11 divided by x minus 90 uh, you know speed of second upon speed of third this ratio will remain same similarly in second situation this ratio of speed is x upon x minus 80 so you can just cross multiply so on left hand side you will get x square minus 90 1x uh, plus 880 you should be good at solving such uh, you know values uh, the algebraic expressions x minus 90 into x will be x square minus 90x by looking at this itself you can make out uh, 91x minus 90x is x which is equal to 880 that's the length of the racetrack you simply got this this is also one of the pyq so you can quickly solve such questions so make sure that you are not leaving any such question untouched in exam okay let's take one more question guys so in a 10 kilometer race a b and c each running at a uniform speed and get gold silver and bronze medals now what do we get based on this so can i say a is the fastest runner then comes b and then comes p c so this is the relationship of the speed a is the fastest c is the slowest okay if a beat b by one kilometer and b beat c by one kilometer then by how many meters will a beat c it's very easy question a b c 10 kilometer race so b will be running nine kilometer when b runs 10 kilometer c will be running nine kilometer once again will reduce by 10 percent this side so we'll reduce this one also by 10 percent so it will become 8.1 so a will be bit c by 190 meters that's our answer so this was similar question now let's look at a different variety of question this is again a cat pyq so in a mile race now this is going to be slightly tricky so make a point to watch this thoroughly if required you can replay this part and you can understand what point i have uh, explained and how have i simplified the calculation in a mile race we are told that mile is 1600 meter so in a 1600 meter race akshay can be given a start of 128 meter by bhairav now what does it mean let me just write a b and c it's about three people when bhairav runs 1600 meter akshay runs only 128 meter okay 
Further, if Bhairav can give Chinmay a start of 4 meter in a 100 meter race. Now, this 600, 1600 is a very complicated number. So, what we can do is we can divide 1600 by 16. So, we will get 100 meter over here. Similarly, if I divide 128 by 16, we, I know that 16 are 128. And for that, you should be good at tables. Okay, so 128 divided by 16, it's 8 meter. So, we can simply say that in a 100 meter race, Bhairav can give Akshay a start of 8 meter. In 1600 meter race, Bhairav can give a start of 128 meter to Akshay. So, or Akshay can be given 128 meter start. That means definitely Bhairav is faster one. So, in a 100 meter race, Bhairav can give 8 meter start to Akshay. So, what shall we write over here? So, when Bhairav runs 100 meter, Akshay should be running 92 meter. Have you all understood? So, this is what you can say that Bhairav can give a start of 8 meter to Akshay. So, this was the tricky part. Now, see how the question becomes easy. In a 100 meter race, Bhairav can give Chinmay a start of 4 meter. So, when Bhairav runs 100 meter, Chinmay runs 96 meter. So, what is our question? Now, let's look at the question. The question is then who out of Akshay and Chinmay will win a race of one and a half miles? One and a half miles means 2400 meter. And what will be the final lead given by the winner to the loser? So, by how many meters in fraction or in, in terms of miles will uh, you know uh, the winner beat the loser? As we can easily make out between Akshay and Chinmay, definitely Chinmay is faster. So, Chinmay will win the race. And the race this time is of 2400 meters. So, guys, what I can do over here is I know when Chinmay runs 96 meter, Akshay runs 92 meter. So, when Chinmay runs 24 meter, Akshay would be running 23 meter. Or I can say when Chinmay runs 2400 meter, Akshay will be running 2300 meter. So, can I say ultimately Chinmay is winning by 100 meter? Now, 100 meter in terms of mile because our options are in terms of mile. So, 100 meter is what fraction of 1600 meter? I can say it's 1 by 16th or you can say 1 by 16th of the mile. So answer has to be option B. I really hope you have understood this. Now let's look at one different variety of uh, question. This is straight from All India Mock Test of an Academy. But it's a nice question can be asked in upcoming CAT exam. And I really wish that happens. So the distance between points X and Y is 5000 meter. A and B start moving towards each other simultaneously from point X and Y. It has been indicated in the figure over here and continue in to and fro motion between x and y indefinitely so they keep going to uh, you know say a goes to y then come back to x then again goes to y then come back uh, comes back to uh, x and similarly b also does the same way to and fro motion okay after how much time will their fifth meeting take place okay that's our question after how much time will their fifth meeting take place it is given that after each meeting the respective speeds are interchanged and they meet only after coming from opposite point uh, in every meeting. Okay, so let's understand this question. First of all, we are given the speeds as 60 meter per second and 40 meter per second. Now guys, to simplify this question, what I'll do is I'll make the length of this track as 100 meter because 60 plus 40 will be straight away 100 and you'll understand why have I reduced it this way and then we'll multiply it by 50 once again to get our answer. Okay. So, if my race is just of 100 meter and if A is running at 60 meter per second and B is running at 40 meter per second, so definitely if both of them are starting together, then A will cover 60 meter distance and B will cover 40 meter distance and they'll meet over here at this point. This is going to be their first meeting. So, can I say when they meet for the first time, they have covered 100 meter distance. Now, what happens? B will go further till the point x and will come back and will meet a somewhere but now b the speed of b becomes 60 meter per second so can i say b needs to cover the 60 meter distance and the speed is 60 meter per second so it will take one second similarly so b is going this side similarly a will go this side but a is going at 40 meter per second and it uh, a needs to cover 40 meter distance so it will also take one second and then it will take turn and it will come over here in the same time b will come over here right so both of them will again meet at the same point where they had met earlier because they are exchanging the speed so higher the distance higher the speed so that's why they are taking the same time and this will be their second meet so when they are meeting at the second time can i say they have total covered three laps distance or 300 meter distance now you should have understood the pattern so first meet happens let me just explain this way the first meet happens when they have covered one lap together 
The second meet happens when they have covered to distance equal to three laps. You know, one lap means this 100 meter say. This is one lap. Okay. The third meet will happen when two more laps will be added. That is, they have together covered distance equal to five laps. So similarly, can I say fifth meeting will happen when they have covered distance equal to nine laps? That is 900 meters. Yes. Okay. So their fifth meet take place when they have covered together a total distance of 900 meter and we can easily make out the relative speed is 100 meter per second so it will take just one second for them to cover 100 meter so for 900 meter it will take nine seconds okay so had the racetrack been of 100 meter it would have taken nine seconds but since it is of 5000 meter so the time will also increase so multiply 9 by 50 the multiplying factor will be 50 and it will become 450 seconds that's your answer. So I really hope you have understood this problem as well. Guys, you will not find uh, you know, questions more difficult than this in CAD exam check past four or five years papers. So just focus on this kind of areas. Okay, now uh, before we go ahead, guys, just want to quickly tell you that please uh, attempt this next mock test, which is on 20th November. You can also attempt it afterwards and you can also attend my analysis, which I conduct on YouTube after the mock test. And apart from that, you can also join my plus or iconic batch in case if you are targeting next year's CAT or OMATS. If you want to prepare under my guidance, you can definitely join my plus or iconic batch using my code, which is SHAH10. Don't forget to apply this code and also recommend all your friends. Um, you can also join my Telegram group in case if you are not aware. So this is my Telegram channel. In fact, you can scan the QR code or you can just search the ID anikin underscore Unaksha and be part of my group. Uh, please let me know that how did you find this video was it useful to you uh, if you have any suggestion please post it in the comment section and i'll be waiting for your messages keep learning